What is up YouTube? My name is Eggs, and today's video is the follow-up to last week's video where I showed you guys how to make a .exe file that's switched in between two default playback devices. If you miss that upload, go ahead and click on the card that just popped up on the screen now and check out that video before you watch this one. However, in this week's video, I show you guys how to bind that .exe file or if you are not interested in that and you want any program to be binded to any key on your keyboard i would be showing you guys how to do that in this week's video so let's get right into it i was ready to blow me down all right so basically all we need to do is download razor synapse 3 if you don't already have it and if you do have it perfect if you don't Get that and not the legacy version. The legacy version is not the one that we want. We want Razor Synapse 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right into Razor Synapse 3. This is compatible with Razor keyboards, mice, whatever other ones have programmable buttons on them. Doesn't matter. We just need to have Razor Synapse 3. So me in particular, I am using the Razor Black Widow Chroma V2. And I'm going to be binding it to this key. This is a macro key, but you can bind it to any key you want. It doesn't matter. So you're going to go into Razor Synapse, click on Synapse up here. You're going to click on your device. And then if you want to make a separate profile, you can. If not, just stick with your default one. Click on the program or the key that you want to program that uh, exe file to. Now we're going to go into uh, Windows Shortcuts. No, my bad. Launch Program. We're going to go to Launch Program. Click the launch program button at the top and click the file. So now we're going to navigate to our directory that we have our auto switch.exe from last week's video. Click on it and click open. If you want to bind a specific application, all you would need to do is go into your local disk C, program files, find your uh, application you want to launch, and uh, click on their .exe file in their directory of their application. So we're going to go back. So for this tutorial, our auto switch.exe, we're going to open, save, bam, done. So now if I click my third macro key, flawlessly switch in between two default playback devices with any key on my keyboard. So thank you guys for watching this week's video and stay tuned for next week's video when I just throw a random tutorial out. So in next week's video, I show you guys how to set up OBS with the best possible settings to get you guys the clearest and crispest audio and video out of your OBS recordings, as well as configuring the best possible output settings. So not only do you get that crisp and clear video and audio, but also an optimized output file for post-production with separated audio tracks. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that post notifications bell icon so you get notified of all future weekly uploads. And don't forget to like and comment on this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Walk with our feet on the ground and we will talk with our head in the clouds and we will walk with our feet on the ground and we will talk with our head in the clouds